this video, um, just kind of in addition to the um, last video, um, the video notes, but I wanted to kind of clarify this. Um, the three reasons why the law of supply is true, why the curve of a, uh, the supply curve is upward sloping, and um, don't get this confused with demand because I had you uh, learn and understand that the demand curve is downward sloping for various reasons, but once again, we're looking at it from a, con or a, yes, a consumer's point of view. The law of supply, you have to put yourself in the, um, in the mindset of a producer, someone who is producing. And so you have to take demand out of the equation and understand that if the price is going up for three different reasons, as a supplier, you are going to be willing and able to make more available for sale. And so as we look at this, I kind of have um, some illustrations of all three reasons. Um, I have the uh, upward sloping supply curve showing that at a price of one, our quantity supplied is 10. When we increase the price to $2, our quantity supplied is going to be 30. At $3, we are willing and able to supply more, um, um, and that's a quantity supplied of 40. So we have the upward sloping supply curve, and the three reasons are um, over on um, the right-hand side, I'm starting from right and going left, um, there's the profit motive. Um, if you know that without changing the costs or any other um, satiris paribus condition um, of supply, which we have those, we had the satiris paribus conditions of demand, those things that caused the curve to shift. If we take a snapshot in time and your costs aren't changing and technology isn't changing and anything isn't changing, if you can charge more for your product, you are willing and able to make more available for sale just because you can make more money off of it. Um, so if you can only charge a dollar for something um, based on the opportunity cost that you have of producing that, you're not willing and able to produce so many. But with the same costs, if you can charge five dollars, you've just increased your profits by four dollars each. Um, you are going to be willing and able. So you have the profit motive, which means if nothing else changes and I can charge $5 for something or $1 for something, I'm going to charge $5 just because my profits are going to increase. Um, the next thing um, will go all the way to the left-hand side. If you notice, that's an upward sloping uh, curve there on costs. Um, usually when you start producing, you use the most available resources that you have to you, for you. So if you think about it as, I'm a farmer, um, and I'm going to farm. You have some farm ground that is made just for that purpose. Um, let's say you want to increase the amount that you're going to farm. It's going to cost you more money. So the only way that you are going to make more available for sale is if you can cover those costs, which means you're going to have to charge more for that product. So if you can charge more for it so you can cover your cost, you will be willing and able to make more available for sale. You're not going to if you cannot cover those costs. So because of increasing costs, um, the only way that you will produce more is if you can increase the price of your product. And then finally, um, new business. And what that basically means is if you are in a business and someone who is not in that industry or that business is watching you make tons and tons of money, um, there is a incentive for new businesses to come into that industry. And so what happens is you have new entrants coming into the market just because they see you making more and more money. So um, as the price goes up, people are going to enter the market and so the quantities supplied in that particular market is going to go up because people see you making money.